Hey, I'm Sonny James from Serato's Artist Relations Team here in Los Angeles, California. Welcome to Serato DJ Pro. This is the most popular DJ software in the world due to its intuitive layout, ease of use, and compatibility with over 90 pieces of DJ hardware you'll find in most professional settings. So many amazing DJs who are both legendary and up and coming rely on this program to share music with millions of people every year. Serato DJ Pro is an award-winning program with lots of amazing features to help keep you on point in the DJ booth and anywhere else you may be performing as a DJ. If you haven't already, you'll want to head over to serato.com, sign in, and then download the latest version of Serato DJ Pro. Please note, you will need to purchase a license or subscribe to fully connect a wide range of devices. If you're planning to use the program with DJ hardware, be sure to visit our DJ hardware page and confirm that your device of choice is compatible with Serato DJ Pro and whether you need a license or not. Once you have Serato DJ Pro open, sign into the program. You'll be briefly taken back to your browser for a moment to confirm that it is indeed you on serato.com. If you have a license for Serato DJ Suite, you will have access to all of the expansion packs available. There's even an option to DJ with Serato DJ Pro using only your laptop, but for now we'll be connecting to hardware. To import MP3s into Serato DJ Pro, you can use the Files panel and drag a folder to the crate area, like this. If you have your music locally stored in iTunes or the Music app, you can enable that library to show up by going to your setup menu here. Click the Library and Display tab and check the box that says Show iTunes Library. Depending on the size of your library, Serato DJ Pro may take a while to load your music for the first time, so be sure not to do this for the first time at a gig you have to start right away. And remember, streaming tracks in Apple Music won't show up in the program. Currently, you can stream songs from your Beatport, Beat Source, SoundCloud, and Tidal libraries. You will need to have an active paid subscription on whichever service you choose. Once you have your tracks in Serato DJ Pro, you'll want to analyze your files to determine the BPM of your tracks. You can either simply click the Analyze Files button to begin analyzing the entire library or drag only the songs you want analyzed to the button. This will automatically tag the BPM and key on the tracks, which will allow you to sort your library by BPM from either slowest to fastest or vice versa. You can hold the Command key and click to sort a second column like this. Now you can start choosing your tracks based on the tempos, which will allow you to find songs that are in a similar range. To stay organized, utilize crates to arrange tracks for your sets. Just click the crate button here. Rename it whatever you like. Now you can drag songs to the crates as you like. Order them by BPM or however you'd like to see them organized. Now it's time to plug in a device. Today I'll be using the Pioneer DDJ Rev7. You may be prompted to install a driver for whichever device you're plugged into. Once the controller is fully connected, you'll see the view change indicating that you're now online with your hardware. Now I'll scroll on the controller and load tracks to both the left and the right decks. Since I've sorted my crate by BPM, it's easy to find a track in a similar range of tempo. Start the first track by pressing play on the controller and bringing up the left line fader. Once that's playing, I'll start the second track and bring up the right line fader. Be sure to match the BPM of the second track to the first using the pitch slider on the device. Alternatively, you can press sync to lock both tracks in time with each other. Bring the crossfader to the center. Now we can hear both tracks at the same time and begin fading the first track out of the mix. Using the FX buttons can help add extra sauce to your mix too. Simply click on the FX option at the top of the screen to open the FX panel and show the options available for you. Some of the effects available include echo, reverb, filters, and more. Now, turn the effects on as you choose and bring the wet dry knob up to affect the track. With Serato DJ Pro, you can add in your own samples to spice up your performance or let people know your DJ name. Simply open up the sample player by clicking on the air horn symbol at the top of the screen. You'll notice the sample play panel open below the decks. Here you can drag sounds that you like into the slots to trigger them with the push of a button. On the controller, you can enter sampler mode by clicking on the sampler button above the cues which will make the top eight pads trigger your eight sample slots. 
These are all fun techniques and options you can use in Serato DJ Pro, either standalone or with controllers like the Pioneer DDJ Rev 7. Now it's your turn to get in the mix and try it all out for yourself. Time to get busy and have some fun. 